But my thing is, when you really serving, you know, Christ, you know what I'm saying, not religious, but when you really follow examples and really trying to, you know, follow that lifestyle, you know, you can't live in the dark. You know what I mean? So it was very, it was very important for me to, you know, correct the wreckage of my past, especially when you had this thing called a retraction tape that, you know, that I had to do. Basically, um, you know, Fizz and Bugs, they, you know, we were working on B2K, and they knew about these two secret meetings. One was at Mike Conception's house, and one was in Compton. And they had the knowledge. And, you know, obviously, it was a very serious matter, you know, Chris Stokes was on the phone. Well, let's talk about that, Raz. A few years ago, you, you did make the same allegations, and then you retracted, you know, the, the allegations. Why? It was a lot. Of, it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of pressure. Um, it was also. It was also two video. Two video cameras there. The and the yeah. rumor. The rumor on the street is that there were people that supported Chris who hit you up, who were paid to hit you up to shut you up. I heard the blood. Let's keep it one yeah. minute. I, I heard shit night. Really. <laughs> No, I mean it was there was there was no guns. It was more of a manipulated type of pressure, and there was two cameras there. Like I said, I was I wasn't ever trying to cause any problems, you know. But really, I saw I see I didn't have any help, and I still really don't have any help dealing with these situations other than Jesus Christ and my close family and friends. But it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy situation because you saw how much people cared about their public image to where they wanted me to actually go on camera and, and lie. And, you know, take it back in a way to where the people already knew. It was so much pressure. And like I said, I wasn't in really in a position to talk about it. I don't know why Chris and Marcus wasn't fucking Little Fizz, though. Like, he was the one everybody thought was cute. Like yeah, he has the good hair and everything. Like, he has he has great hair. He's cute. Yeah. Check this out. I'm about to throw that nigga completely under the bus. That nigga was the first nigga to take it in his ass on my mama. Damn, Fizz. Oh, Damn, shots cool. fired. That's shots fired. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again. Little Fizz was the first one to take it in his ass by Marcus Houston. Ugh. No, no, no. You know what? I kinda... You know that. Wait, there were rumors allegedly, allegedly that Fizz was with uh, Bow Wow. Was that true? No. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. Bow Wow used to always come over to the house in Diamond Bar, and, and, and Bow Wow used to always come to our our spot. They used to always Fizz and Bro Bow Wow used to always hang around. Used to dress alike. And, I, and I've always seen some weird. I've always seen some weird shit before. Trust me, I've seen some. Raz, I, I gotta say, Raz, at, at, at some points in time when you do yeah. talk, you do sound like. Yeah, a, yeah. A woman who's been who's been ran through and now she's scorned, and it seems like you just want to embarrass these guys sometimes. Like I like I have to ask you, you again, what is your overall purpose and motive? Speak for children all around the world that can't speak for themselves. We completely be vindicated. Put all the rumors and lies to truth. Everything, all the truth has to come to the light. You know what I mean? Well, you know, Raz B, man. Like I said before, man. Like the fact that you're not, you claim to be not homosexual, and you're coming out with this. You're a very secure individual, you know, and I, and I salute you and I applaud you. And, I, and like I said, man, put the purpose before the profit, the message before the money. You you, oh, are, you, you, you are a symbol. You're a mouthpiece for people that, that, that can't speak. A mouthpiece. And, 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 you know, you, you can't be promoting your album and talking about getting your anus tampered with all in the same sentence because nobody will take you. I agree. Seriously. I think that's, yeah. that's some really good advice. That you, you should probably just really go go hard in the paint with, with the allegations. Pause, and, nigga. Well, with all that. And then, you know, the, the money for the, the album, that's going to follow. I think you need to focus on this. And you clearly, I think you need to get some help. You seem, you, you've been hurt. Take it to home. And you know, Raj, you've inspired a, 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 a lot of Halloween costumes this year. A lot of people are going to cover <sighs> themselves in blood and say that they are, they're your anus for Halloween. So. Charlemagne. Charlemagne. That nigga is crazy. Charlemagne. You know, you and Ra and Raz, but let me tell you. And I spoke with the uh, the uh, supervisor handled sexual assault cases. She looked up looked up your name. There was a case back in Omi. I'll give you that report number. Um, it's it's uh, so there was a report found back in 2008. I, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll give that to you right now. Uh, unfortunately, due to the whatever sensitive nature of the case, we can't access it. Understand. So I need to call this number. This is the uh, it's being handled by the uh, abuse child unit. It, uh, I don't know if it's here or the one downtown. Okay. This number it probably won't be the people, the investigators who are handling it. Okay. But what I need you to do is call them and ask okay. for the exploited child unit. Um, 
it, it may be a, a unit out of downtown. Okay. Um, I just don't want to when I talk about confidential stuff. I don't want to be the front desk, but give them a call. This number is, is we have um, the abuse child unit is broken into like a lot of sections. They have the family abuse, uh, um, computer, you know, the internet crime unit, mm -hmm. um, exploited, and she was saying that it, I mean we can't even access it because certain ca certain cases are case file mm -hmm. we can look into, especially for supervisors we can look into different cases. It's a high profile but, but case as well too. That's probably why we can't. Yeah, so, uh, so this is it a two one three number. This is an eight one eight. This is a gotcha. Van Nuys. Perfect. But the no, the unit that we'll be having will probably be. Um, so they probably give me that number. But this yeah. number right here is going to take me through. This is the report on that's under your name. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So that's easy you know what? And um, I'm <coughs> trying to think uh, if. Uh, Van Nuys. Van Nuys. Um, you know what kind of yeah. No, no. I'm just trying to think what what information they're going to be. Uh, well, you know what? You call it. I mean, they won't over the phone. They won't be given a lot of information. Yeah. But at least they can tell you. I, I know they will be able to look at the, the in depth and look at the case notes and stuff. They won't give you any information over the phone, like yeah. what happened, all that stuff. But at least they can hook you up with whoever the investigator so is the investigation. on that. Right. Right. Well, you've yeah. had a great deal of help. Yeah, no, 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 worry, no worry. It's just um, you know what? Any any um, any, any crime really? If you have Crime may over here. Um, any threats or whatever that originates out of this one, it has to be handled by the original one. So, I mean, like when I used to work gangs, you know, we had a gang case, and, and then we have something. Right well, no, it's just if you have a gang, case, if you have any kind of case, and then you have threats or threats of intimidation out of the original incident, you mm -hmm. go to court, go to the police. It, it's all rolled up. It's not a new, new crime per se. It's all around the same thing. So, all right. Okay, well, so give him a call and, and see. Hope you guys get some answers uh, on that. All right, don't worry. All right, guys. Who else?